squad. None of that. None of that happened last night. That's unlike Deontay Wilder. So from the start of this fight, we saw a different Deontay. That, that confidence just was not there. It was not there. And it could be due to a lot of things. But one thing I did notice, and it's, of course, you want to do things differently in the second fight. You want to evolve and grow and become sharper as a boxer. The jabs and the crosses to the body is how Deontay started that fight. Was it working? Yeah. Would it have kept working? Absolutely not, unless he changed the timing on it. Throw feints with it. So he was eventually going to start getting caught with overhand rights. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't going to work the whole fight, but it was a good start. It was different. It probably was not what Tyson had expected. But when you think about that, that this man is going in knowing that his game plan is completely different than it ever has been, yeah, that, that can kind of slow down your thinking on other things. The whole bomb squad thing and, you know, everything else that you normally would do, you, you can't cram all of that stuff into your brain at the same time and remember all of that stuff. Because now you have to remember and stay focused on the fact that you got to execute something different than you usually do. And you got to be cognizant of that and focused on that. And I think that's probably, probably why we saw it a bit different on, on the start of this fight. But, you know, it's another thing, man, that, that um, people don't realize. Deontay Wilder is not a boxer. Deontay Wilder is a football player who got into boxing. Very, very, very short amateur career. But the man has heavy hands. And if he catch you, he can knock you out. <laughs> Fortunately for him, that secured him a nice long run in the heavyweight division. He made a lot of money, became a world champion, and that's freaking awesome. There's not many people in the world who can say that. But Deontay's not a boxer. Deontay is a football player who got into boxing, had a long run because he was, he, he was fortunate enough to get in there with guys that he could catch with that big straight right hand and put him to sleep and get his pay. Unfortunately, now you got guys in there that's skilled and that have watched you for long enough to know how, how to get in there and start knocking you all around the ring. And that's going to continue to happen. Deontay Wilder has terrible balance. Um, his leg conditioning has never been good. Um, I've never seen him really on balance or have really good footwork um, coordination. I've never really seen him have great coordination in the ring. Um, so there's a lot of things lacking for him to be in there with guys that are also heavy hitters. You're gonna take a lot of shots. Um, uh, uh, he always had a high guard, but the guard is wide open. So you can easily get inside. You can go around the guard. Um, very, very easy target to hit. Um, even though he's long, got those long arms, he doesn't use them very well. Um, he doesn't do well with, with double and triple jabs. So he, he, boxing wise, no, he's not good. He stays on his back feet. For a man that size, he stays on his back feet an awful lot. Um, so, I, it, it, boxing, it's not for him in my opinion. Fighting, dude is freaking tough. Gerald Washington fight, the, the Ortiz fight, Tyson Fury fights. The dude proved himself to be tough. He is freaking tough. Um, he's a fighter, absolutely. And I like seeing a fighter, but I don't like seeing a guy in there that's not built for that kind of fight in there with guys who are, and you're just seeing them get knocked all over the place. I'm not cool. The man's bleeding out his ear again. That can't be good. That can't be good. We have to think about the internal health of the athletes when you're seeing stuff like that. Could this man keep fighting like this, and now we're looking at another guy with severe brain damage? Do we want to see that? I don't. If you're cool with that, then you and I are different. I don't like what I'm seeing with the speech of James Tony and Riddick Bowe. Well, I'm not cool with seeing that stuff, man. But, man, my point is, we, we, a lot of people bashing Deontay. The guy's a very fortunate guy to get that far, man. He's not even a boxer. So 
I give it up for him being that tough and, and continuing to stay in there, stay in that gym and try to reinvent himself. But I, it just doesn't look like it's something that can be done. Switch trainers, you know, get up a little earlier, eat a different type of meal. I don't think any of that is gonna change anything. I don't believe that the man's a boxer. Um, he's a football player that got into boxing and he's a very tough fighter. But should he hang him up? I can't make that decision, man. But if he's gonna continue to look like that and stay in there, I don't like seeing that. But anyway, God bless Deontay Wilder and his family and his team. I hope he recovers well. I hope both guys went home healthy and stay that way. Peace and blessings, y'all.